All right, so the A's lost total has reached triple digits as the Athletics lost their 100th game of the season, got swept to the Angels in this game, final score 4-2. to two. The big story was Shohei Otani. Absolutely incredible. He had no hit the A's through like eight innings, and the A's finally were able to get their first hit late in the game and actually score two runs, but Shohei Otani, I mean, we know how good he is as a hitter. As a pitcher, you know, he's incredible. You know, he's a top talent of our generation. He's incredible, just everything he can do. And as an A's fan, I can even admit how amazing, you know, Shohei Otani is. And I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I mean, the fact that he no-hit us for so long into this game, you know, past eight innings, just crazy. I mean, really crazy. So, yeah, 4-2 to two final score. Luis Renifo, who's been a, pretty much a monster against us for most games we played the Angels, got a solo homer, leadoff homer in the bottom of the first inning for Los Angeles. LA went up one nothing. That was in the first inning. The A's had Cole Irvin on the mound. Ohatani, who of course was pitching, got an RBI single uh, into center field, and that made it 2 nothing Angels. And um, so yeah, the Angels got an, a lead in there, scoring in Mike Trout. Taylor Ward got a solo homer in the bottom of the third inning, his 23rd of the year. Literally the exact location that um, the Renifo home run was to. And so that made it 3-0 Angels. They had a solid lead. Um, Otani, at this point, was pitching really, really good. He had 10 strikeouts total in this game. Um, Max Stassi got a solo homer off of Norhe Ruiz to right field. And that made it 4-0 Angels. Um, yeah, so Otani carried his no-no into the eighth inning. Um, finally, it was broken up by Connor Capel getting a single. Connor Capel has been really good lately, so that was good to see. Um, but yeah, he, uh, Otani got his 10th strikeout in the, uh, eighth inning and he was, yeah, lights out. Um, Connor Capel, like I said, broke up the no hitter with a little hit to, and you know, it honestly could have may maybe had a play on it, um, into left center field and that made it, um, you know, ended the no hitter, which kind of sucks for Otani, right? But from an A's fan uh, perspective, I guess it's good. The A's eventually loaded the bases. Aaron Loop was pitching at this point. Seth Brown got an RBI ground out, got the A's on the board, made it four to one. And then Jonah Bride scored on a wild pitch, good base running by Jonah Bride, and that made it four to two. Um, however, Ryan Tapera sealed the win, got the save for the Angels. I thought maybe the A's would tie it up. They had a runner on third with Stephen Vogt, and he drove one out to right field, but it was caught near the warning track. And so the A's, yeah, I believe this is like the second time in Oakland history they've lost over, you know, 100 games in a season. Um, they stand at 56 and 100, so we only have two three-game series left. That'll get us to 162 games. It's depressing, right? I mean, 100 losses. I can't remember the last time I've had to say that about the A's. I don't think I ever have, but it's just really hard to see. The A's had Cole Irvin on the mound. Um, a lot of three runs, Not, you know, sort of a shaky start. He did strike out six batters. Um, Norhe Rui is a lot of run as well, but the A's, you know, their bullpen has been looking better um, than usual. I know that the bar is pretty low, but yeah, uh, Shohei Otani, absolutely incredible. They had two relievers, Loop and Tapera. They got the job done though. And Otani, I mean, he deserves a no-hitter, um, you know, considering how good he is, but the A's were able to break it up. Um, so yeah, take that as you will. So the A's are going to play the Mariners for a three-game series. That'll be the final road series of the year. Then we'll head back to Oakland and finish off the, se uh, the season against these Los Angeles Angels. Um, play them three more times. We got swept this series um, to the Angels. I guess it, you know, secures a better draft position for us, whatever. But we are 56 and 100, one of the worst records I've ever seen. And um, it's depressing, but man, that's Oakland baseball in 2022. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this game. Four to two Angels. And they beat the A's. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. And, yeah, go A's.